Hey guys, so for today's video we are back with another tutorial with my eyeshadow palette that I made with Sigma Beauty. Today we are doing one of my favorite looks that I have done with my palette. It's a super smoky, intense blue eye, but I just think this is so pretty and kind of like model-esque in a way. I'm actually going out to dinner tonight with my family and my boyfriend to celebrate the launch of my palette and my birthday, so that's why I wanted this really intense look for today. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, today's look is going to be a fun one. I'm super excited, so as always, going in with my Urban Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've tried like all the different eye primers I have, like the Rare Beauty one, the Essence one, and this one. These are like the main three that I have. I've used them all with my palette and they all work great. I'm honestly trying to finish up this one because I've had this in my collection for a while. I have that all over the eyelid and then I'm pressing that in with the Sephora Collection number 71 brush. And this look today is going to require a lot of blending, a lot of patience, so if you are recreating this, just have a little extra time on your hands maybe. <laughs> and then I'm going to set that primer with a little bit of my e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder. Just a light layer of this. And I'm mostly setting the crease area just because that's where all the blending happens. So for this look, I'm going to go straight in with PDX on a Sigma E54. And we're just going to start by packing the shade on the lid. And if you're using this color, I recommend doing your eyes first and then your foundation because you will get fallout with this shade. Such a pigmented matte blue. It's pretty normal for such like a pigmented deep matte shade like this to have fallout. So yeah, definitely do your eyes first, especially if you're recreating this look because we're going to use a lot of this shade. So I'm just starting right on my eyelid. It actually makes my eyes look kind of smaller at first, but as we blend out this shade, it'll get better and better. Like I said, a lot of steps to this look, lots of blending. Today is super exciting. So I'm filming this video on Sunday, June 4th. And today is the day that I actually posted the outside of my palette on Instagram. So I've just been looking at the comments all day and I'm so freaking excited for you guys to see the outside of the palette. And then tomorrow I will finally show the inside of the palette, but you're watching this in the future. So, you know, timing is a little weird. And then today's super exciting too, because I'm going out with my family and my boyfriend for dinner. We're kind of celebrating my palette launch and my birthday together. So my birthday's on June 10th. And that's something that Sigma and I kind of wanted with my palette. We always talked about launching it around my birthday. So that's just so crazy. The fact that I'm starting my 27th year with an eyeshadow palette launch is just crazy to me and mind blowing. All right, so that shade is just packed on my lid and it makes my eyes look smaller, right? But as we blend, it's just gonna get bigger and bigger. So I'm gonna take a clean Sigma E27 and we're just gonna start to blend in the crease and bring this shadow up. Again, we're gonna do lots of layering today. This is kind of a trust the process look. So just be patient with me here. So then for dinner tonight, we're going to the Melting Pot in Portland, which is one of my favorite places ever. I love fondue. Fondue is just, one of my favorite foods so every year for my birthday I try to do something with fondue there's another place in Portland called urban fondue that I go to oh that I used to go to a lot haven't been there quite as much anymore now that I live farther away I just love celebrating my birthday with fondue and my family's gonna be there so I'm super excited I get to see my niece and I haven't seen her in a minute and I'm definitely gonna use her shade today a Faye in my palette so see how I'm blending this with nothing on the brush and it's getting a little bit lighter it's gonna look patchy at first again trust the process now on the same E54, I'm gonna pick up Faye and I'm actually gonna use this as like my blending transition shade, which was kind of crazy when I first did this look, you know, when I was creating a bunch of looks for my palette to post for you guys. Um, putting the shade in my crease was different because I've never put like a deep teal shimmer in my crease, but this shade really helps to blend out PDX because it kind of has that bluish undertone to it. So kind of a different step than I would normally do. I think it's so cool and kind of a different way to use this shade. So I'm actually packing this shade in my crease now and a little bit of shimmer in this shade isn't too intense. So it works in the crease. So I'm just building up the shape, still keeping it kind of rounded. Now when my eyes relaxed, you can see more of that. Don't worry, there's still more blending that will happen for sure. And I'm not even wiping the fallout off my face yet. I'm just waiting till I'm done with all this lid work and then I'll clean that up. This looks so sloppy right now. Oh my gosh. You're like, this girl created an eyeshadow palette. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna go back to that E27. Again, I have no product on this brush and I'm just gonna start to blend around Faye. All right, 
So this is just softening the edges a little bit. So see how my eyes look less shut off and closed now that I brought up that bluish green shade. So here are my eyes completely relaxed. And it's not too bad. So when you do a super smoky eye like this, whether you're using my palette, any palette, you're using color or neutrals, always try to relax your face so you can see where that shadow is going because I'm not always walking around with my eyebrows up like I do when I film. <laughs> now I'm taking my Sigma Switch and just cleaning off that E27. Now I'm gonna dip into both Basic and Bare on this brush to kind of give myself a really light transition shade to work with. And now we're really gonna soften the edges of the shadow. So blending right along this harsh edge. You can also use a little bit of Peachy for this step if you want, if you wanna have a little bit of that warmth. So it's kind of cool to mix like the cool tones of these shades with the warmth of Peachy. But I'm gonna keep this pretty cool tone today. I'm gonna build up that face shade a little bit more, a little bit higher. If you're doing this kind of look, you wanna make sure you're using pretty small and precise brushes. That's why like, I'm not going in with my E35 or my E25. I'm using smaller brushes like this. Cause I'm making sure I'm keeping a gap between my brow and the eyeshadow. All right, so I brought that up a little higher. Now just going back to my E27. I didn't pick up any more product on this brush, but there's probably some left over. And again, just blending along this harsh line. So see how this blend up here it looks much better than that blend so i'm gonna go touch up this eye all right so now the look is getting somewhere i'm pretty happy with the blend on both eyes and now we're gonna go back to pdx and build up that a little bit more just because you can see i did so much blending the shade is a little patchy it disappeared so we're gonna bring it back so it's like we're doing that first step all over again i'm taking pdx and i'm starting towards my lashes because i want the shade to be deepest down here and then slowly get lighter and lighter right so I'm starting on the lower part of my lid, packing on this shade, getting most of the product off the brush and then bringing it up a little bit higher. I just love the shade packed all over the lid. It like almost looks black, but like it's definitely not black, it's, it's blue. But you can make it so dark that it just looks kind of like a navy blue almost. All right, so the shade is back now all over my lid. Looks so much better, here's the before, nice and patchy. Here's the after. And then again, going back to my Sigma Switch, gonna get that pigment off of this E27. I really only used two brushes so far. I feel like that's pretty good. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Fae on this brush since that is like my middle shade. And I'm gonna blend that right in the crease, right above PDX. Because again, we wanna go darkest to lightest. It's just a really soft blend, nothing too crazy right here. Oh, I just love how this looks. Ignore all of this fallout. <laughs> so then same thing on this eye, touching up PDX really close to my lash line and then slowly bringing it up a little bit higher on my lid. It's kind of funny how much fallout I got on this eye, but <laughs> not as much on this eye. I really don't know why. <laughs> and then again, taking Faye. I'm just blending it I'm kind of on my lid really i'm right in between my lid and my crease just softening out that very edge of pdx so really just kind of go back and forth with pdx and fey until you're happy with the blend and then you can use a basic and bare to blend out those edges so i'm happy with how this looks because when my eyes are open you can still see all of the colors my lid is nice and dark with pdx with fey nicely blended out now i'm going to take a makeup wipe actually i use baby wipes fun fact i just they're like cheaper and i like the closure on them better <laughs> so again i have no face makeup on so i'm just going to clean up this part under my eyes and then my line right here is actually pretty good. I did a decent job at making that. So I'm just gonna sharpen that up a little bit. Not too bad though. So I'm actually happy with that shape. And then I just like to take a finger and kind of go along this line. All right, I went ahead and did my face makeup and it is looking good. I will show you once everything's done, but let's finish up the eyes. So here's kind of the tricky part. I wanna use PDX, obviously, cause I want this look to be cohesive, but I don't want the fallout. So I'm gonna be very, very precise and careful and try my best to not get fallout because my face makeup looks really good right now. So I think I'm actually gonna start with an eyeliner on my lower lash line and waterline. And when I first did this look, when I was creating all my looks, I didn't do this step. So you can do this look with just PDX, just be careful with fallout again. 
but I got the new Natasha Denona Macro Tech Eye Crayon. What is the shade called? Willow. And it's kind of like the perfect greenish blue shade to go with this look. So I'm gonna line this all across my lower lash line and waterline. It's also my first time trying this, which might be a little risky, but I think it'll be fine, right? And the nice part about this is that the eyeshadow will kind of have something to stick to a little bit more than just my bare skin. So I'm gonna start with this guy. Okay, so I'm gonna start kind of in my waterline. Oh my gosh, the shade is perfect. <gasps> this is just what I needed. I don't really know how fast this dries down, so I'm just gonna take my E21 right away, and kind of start to smudge this around a little bit. Tell me this shade isn't perfect, wow. Also, you might be like, Angela, are you gonna do videos with the new Natasha Denona palette? Yes, I will, I have it, um, but obviously I'm gonna focus on my own eyeshadow palette first, but I will definitely do a video with that. I'm actually planning on doing a video comparing it to like the Natasha Denona Gold palette, the Metropolis palette, just because they kind of have similar vibes. Um, also like ABH subculture. So I think I'm gonna do more of like a comparison video but I definitely will do at least like one tutorial. Okay, this eyeliner is perfect and it's great because it's not gonna give me any fallout. And then I am dragging out the eyeliner so it connects to the shadow so I kind of get this like really nice intense shape. Ooh, this is so fun. But again, I don't want you to think that you have to have this kind of eyeliner to do this look. If you even go in with just a black lighter down here and then go in with PDX on top, you just kind of want something for it to stick to or else you will get a little bit of fallout. Now I'm gonna go in with Faye on that same E21. I'm just gonna go right on top of that on the lower lash line to kind of add some of that shimmer back in. Wow, these shades are going together so well. So there's what it looks like with Faye on and this one without. See how it just adds like a little more fun kind of dimension down there. Now I'm going to take a Sigma E42 in the shade Bear. So I'm using just a tiny bit of this to blend and I'm not going on top of the shadow, I'm going right below. So where that shadow is meeting my skin, just so it blends a little bit smoother. And what I'm kind of focusing on is like, if I were to do like an intense <laughs> look into your soul, I want a nice shape for this eyeshadow. So see how it just kind of like wraps around my eye like that? That's what I'm kind of going for. Like this is an intense look. Now for my inner corner highlight, you could totally use Bright or Champagne Problems, but, but I want something super intense. I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty highlighter in the shade Enlighten. It's just a little bit more kind of metallic than the shade Bright in my palette. I just want this to be super intense. So I'm gonna go right here. And then I'm also gonna bring that right under my brow. I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and lashes and then I'll show you the final look. All right, I popped on my mascara and lashes. For my lashes, I'm wearing the Bright Lashes in the style Daydream. I love how this eye look turned out. I feel like it's just like super model-esque with this just like smoky peacock blue and green color. I think it's stunning. All right, then here's what the full face looks like. Like I said, this is intense, but I think this is just so gorgeous. Let me tell you what else is on my face because like I went full coverage glam today. I told my boyfriend, I was like, I'm wearing a full ass foundation because I normally wear like tinted moisturizers, right? But today I was like, ooh, I want a real foundation because I want this makeup to last. I want to look good at dinner. I am filming kind of early today, so I need this makeup to look good all day. So for my foundation, I'm wearing the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. It's been a while since I worn this, but as soon as I put it on, I was like, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. A nice medium to full coverage foundation. It really covered like everything up, which, which is exactly what I wanted for such an intense eye look.
look like I wanted my base to be like flawless right so I put on this foundation and then I set my entire face with the Charlotte Tilbury powder in the shade 2 just to like really just set things down kind of mattify a little bit because I didn't want to overdo the glow today since obviously the eyes are the focus of the look for my blush I'm still loving the essence pure nude baked blushes I'm still using cool coral mostly every day so my bronzer as always is my hourglass one so all over my face and then my highlight is the rare beauty highlighters I, I mix both shades and lighten and exhilarate and then for my lips I kept it super nude of course I went in with my Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude lip liner with the BK Beauty lipstick in grace this is the more cool tone one that I didn't use that other look I love how this color looks it's like the perfect kind of nude lip for me like this might become a favorite so you might be seeing this a lot on my channel but again I'm just very impressed with this formula super pigmented very hydrating feels really good on the lips so I'm kind of a fan of these I also think I have a code with BK Beauty it might be Angela Bright I don't know I'll link it down below for you though I absolutely love this blue smoky eye like I think this is one of my favorite looks I've done with my palette it'll be perfect for dinner tonight I'm also wearing a dress for dinner which is very different for me I bought a dupe of the like viral skims dress like I'm not gonna pay a hundred bucks for a dress so I bought the Amazon dupe for like 30 bucks it's like this kind of muted purple color I'll post a picture right here if you want to see it but I look good in this dress. It hugs all the curves. I'm excited about it. As always, I'm gonna link all the products I use today down below. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.